Good afternoon and welcome to snack time. We are so glad that you're here. We are waiting for our friends to join and then we'll get started. Apologies. Welcome friends, we are so glad that you are here. Welcome to snack time. We are so glad that you are joining us today. Have you joined us for after school snack time before? Have you just joined us for the first time today? Well, whether this is your first time your second time, your, you don't even know how many times you've joined us for snack time. We are so glad that you are here today. And we have some fun things planned and a great story. But the most important thing that we can do first is to have a snack. Did you bring a snack with you today? I certainly hope it is something nutritious and delicious. And I'd love to hear what you all are having for snack. Maybe you've tried to make one of the snacks that we have shared during one of the previous snack times. Maybe you have something all new that is a family favorite. Whatever it is, I'd love for you to tell us in the comments. Maybe you need a grown up to help you or you can send us a message later, but we would love to hear from you the different snacks you have during after school snack time but it's time for all of us to head on over to the snack table so we can share with you what today's snack is. Today, we are having ants on a log. Have you had this before? Would you be willing to try it if you have not? Maybe, you're not sure. So I'll tell you how to make it and then you can tell me if maybe you'd give it a try. First, you need to take some celery and slice it. Now, celery can be a little tricky and you need a sharp knife to slice it. So you might need a grown-up's help. Then you get your favorite nut butter. This could be peanut butter, almond butter, cashew butter, sun butter, you pick. And you fill up the middle, the inside of the celery. And then you sprinkle raisins and sunflower seeds on it. And mm, mm, is it delicious? All right, I always have some friends here to try snack with me. So I'm going to give them some to try. Here you go. Mm. I have to be honest, y'all. This is not a new snack for me. It is a new snack for my snack time patrons, my little friends that come to help me. But for me, this is a snack I've had before and I think it is so yummy. I really like it with raisins. Now some here only wanted it with sunflower seeds, but I really like it with the raisins. Mm, delicious. All right, now that we all have our snacks, I think it's time for us to have our story. Ready? All right, let's head over to the, to the story couch. Today, we have a fun book picked out. And our friends at our local bookstore shared this one with us. And I am so glad that our friends at BBGB told us about this book because this is a fun one. So today we are reading, I Will Never Not Ever Eat a Tomato by Lauren Child. I will never, not ever, eat a tomato. I have this little sister, Lola, 
she is small and very funny. Sometimes I have to keep an eye on her. Sometimes mom and dad ask me to give Lola her dinner. This is difficult because she is a very fussy eater. Lola won't eat carrots, of course. She says carrots are for rabbits. I say, what about peas? Lola says peas are too small and too green. One day I played a good trick on her. Lola was sitting at the table waiting for her dinner and she said, I do not eat peas or carrots or potatoes or mushrooms or spaghetti or eggs or sausages. I do not eat cauliflower or cabbage or baked beans or bananas or oranges. And I am not fond of apples or rice or cheese or fish sticks. And I absolutely will never not ever eat a tomato. My sister hates tomatoes. And I said, that is lucky because we are not having any of those things. We are not going to eat any peas or carrots or potatoes or mushrooms or spaghetti or eggs or sausages. There will be no cauliflower or cabbage or baked beans or bananas or oranges. We don't have any apples or rice or cheese or fish sticks and certainly no tomatoes. Lola looked at the table. Then why are there carrots there, Charlie? I don't eat carrots. And I said, oh, you think these are carrots? These are not carrots. These are orange twiglets from Jupiter. They look just like carrots to me, Lola said. But how can they be carrots? I said, carrots don't grow on Jupiter. That's true, said Lola. Well, I might just try one. If they're all the way from Jupiter. Mmm, not bad, she said. And she took another bite. Then Lola, Lola saw some peas. I do not eat peas, said Lola. I said, these are not peas. Of course they are not. Those are green drops from Greenland. They are made out of green and fall from the sky. But I don't eat green things, said Lola. Oh, goody, I said, I'll have your share. Green drops are so incredibly rare. Well, maybe I'll nibble just one or two. Oh, said Lola, quite tasty. Next, Lola saw the potato. I will not eat potato, so don't even try, not even smushed. Oh, this isn't mashed potato. People often think that, but no, this is cloud fluff from the pointiest peak of Mount Fuji. Oh, said Lola. In that case, a large helping for me. I love to eat cloud. Charlie, she said, those look like fish sticks and I would never eat a fish stick. I know that. These are not fish sticks. These are ocean nibbles from the supermarket under the sea. 
mermaids eat them all the time. Oh, I went to that supermarket one time with mom. Yes, I know the one. I think I've had them before, Lola said, gobbling. Are they any, are there any more? And then she said, Charlie, will you pass me one of those? And I said, one of those? What could she want? And Lola said, yes, Charlie, one of those. And I couldn't believe my eyes because guess what she was pointing at? Tomatoes. And I said, are you sure, really, one of these? And she said, yes, of course, moon squirts are my favorite. You didn't think they were tomatoes, did you, Charlie? What did you think of that story? Personally, this is a new favorite and I was so excited to share it with you today. My daughters saw that this was the book I pulled off the bookshelf for today's story time. And they were so curious to know what the story was. Would you eat a tomato? Hmm, I'm hearing some people say yes, and some people say no. Hmm, I thought it was pretty interesting that Lola had so many things she said she did not like to eat. And I thought it was really amazing that her big brother Charlie came up with some creative ways to get her to try some new foods. Now, I'm really curious, do you have foods that you don't like to eat? Hmm. So it sounds like we all have some foods well, a lot of us at least have some foods that we do not like to eat. And I'm curious, if these are foods you do not like to eat, have you tried them? Because I think it's really, really important for us to try things to know whether or not we do or do not like them. It's hard to say you don't like something if you've never tasted it, right? Now, after reading, I will never, not ever eat a tomato. I'm not so sure I can ever call a tomato a tomato again. I mean, moon squirts might be the most fabulous name ever, right? Mm, during the summer, I'm a huge fan of moon squirts. You slice them up, sprinkle a little salt and pepper on them, and they're delightful by themselves or on a sandwich. So I'm curious, the foods that you do not like, would you try them if you gave them a fun new name? Well, I would love to hear if there are foods that you did not like before, but you gave them another try and tasted them. So please send me a message at the credit union and let me know because I would love to know these new foods that you now like. Trying new food is so much fun. During snack time each week, we have shared all sorts of snacks. My daughters like to join me for snack time and they thought it was crazy to make apple nachos because nachos are supposed to be made out of chips, preferably with cheese all over them. But 
they gave the apple notches a try, even though they were skeptical, skeptical of whether or not it would taste good. And it turns out they were delicious. And now that's one of our favorite snacks in the afternoon. Sometimes we slice the apples and dribble our apple nacho dip all over it. Sometimes we keep the dip in the bowl and just dip our apples right into the apple nacho dip. And it's delicious. My daughters were super excited to try the apple donuts and I was a little skeptical, but it turns out they were quite delicious. And I've heard there's some friends that keep making apple donuts for snack. And they even say slicing the apples and cutting out the middle is worth the extra work for the fun, delicious snack. So if you've tried one of the snacks that we have shared during snack time, we would love to hear from you and to hear what your favorite snacks are. And if you have other snacks that you like to make that we've never shared on snack time, we'd love to hear those too, because maybe one week we'll share that as a snack too. Friends, snack time is such a fun time with you all and Miss Rusalina and I love planning these and having this time with you. Today's book was a little bit shorter than others and we're sad to see this time wrap up, but guess what? We have another great book picked out for next week. Do you think you can guess what that book might be? Take a look on our bookshelf. I'll give you a clue. We have already read The Good Egg. We have already read Iggy Peck Architect. And we read Dragons Love Tacos over the summer. So that only leaves a few other books on the bookshelf to read. Now, I can't tell you everything about next week's book, but I can tell you that it's pretty special and I cannot wait to tell you next week what makes this book so special. I hope you will join us next Wednesday for another after school snack time with Miss Rusalina and myself. And we cannot wait to share with you this fabulous new book and to have another great after school snack. Don't forget to bring a snack with you and we look forward to seeing you right back here next week for after school snack time. Thank you so much for joining us friends and we hope you have a great rest of your afternoon.